So today we're going to be reforming the German Empire in Age of History 2. Now like I said in previous videos on the channel, I want to start branching out into doing some more other stuff, typically gaming, and uh, this is a mapping game, so this is a start. But Age of History 2 is probably one of the most notorious, well obviously Hoi, Hoi 4, EU 4, those are going to be the more notorious mapping games, but this is definitely up there in terms of like quality. Also it's super buggy, but at the same time, it's a cheap mapping game and you can do pretty much anything you want in it with this on sandbox mode and so much more but today we are reforming the german empire in it so going through some of the settings here um i'm probably not going to tweak too much of it and just kind of go with it we will not be playing on sandbox mode which means we'll be just playing like i want to call it survival mode but basically you have to work with your economy you can't just like use all the money in the world and yeah let's go ahead and get started so currently we are ranked the fourth strongest country in the world somehow i don't know how because i france is stronger than us uh, the uk is definitely stronger than us the united states oh wait that's right the united states doesn't even exist hey that's fine though we're over here in europe so we don't gotta worry about them so for my technology points what i usually like to do is dump a lot of it into research so in like in the long run we get more research points but also dumping it into population growth as well as dumping it into economy growth population growth income taxation and income production and since we're not going to be doing any colonization i'm going to use the next few points on this stuff specifically military upkeep in terms of taxes usually i like to do it as much as i can until people start getting unhappy so i guess i would not be a good leader in real life and then goods research production I usually like to keep them lower just so we have more money and I also like to dump a little bit of the money into research but not too much all right so now comes the fun part well first actually I'm gonna like do some economical stuff all right so as you can see here I have all the economical things I can do in these three provinces um, and obviously if I get more technology level I can do more stuff but for now this is about as all as we can do and honestly I'm not really too worried about that since Germany is a really big economical powerhouse in this game for some reason I mean it is in real life too so that makes sense but we do have some more technology points which I'm actually just going to put in administration and probably put one into population growth obviously more people means more money so yeah everyone keep making babies also we are like not very popular um yeah no one really likes us so this is the diplomacy map if we're green we're good with them if they're like this kind of brownish color not so good so i definitely want to fix up some relations uh, specifically with macron over here in france looks like i can't even do that so the next best thing is the U oh can't do that either we can always improve relations with italy because these two have a history definitely want to like get friendly with some of these bigger ukraine oh wow this is realistic but yeah, definitely like the bigger countries i want to be friendly with i don't want to get into a war with anybody well i do but not just yet i want to appease the big guys too so i can't even improve relations with them everyone just has their suspended relations on all right now we need to start raising an army because there's a certain country that needs to be invaded in order to reform the you know german empire and there is technically two german empires there's the weimar republic which um is it's this but what we want to go for is the german empire which is going to, so first we need to make the weimar republic which shouldn't be too hard it's just poland lithuania and a little bit of russia so that ought to be interesting now poland could be a problem because they're not actually too like too weak in this game but yeah let's raise an army first so berlin is a population center we'll focus on there i mean there's also berlin which has been gaining gaining a lot of population this place as well we can get some stuff from Chimin Ch Jesus also we only have three dollars in our treasury that's not good all right so those guys have been recruited and they're on their way to Berlin I yeah since I ran out of money you can't really raise them any more armies but yeah Poland you should not be alarmed by the large amount of German troops on your border well it looks like Ukraine isn't doing too well so we got some more technology points now I'm just gonna like I'm gonna put it into military upkeep so it doesn't cost too much to have this big of a military also, I do want to kind of raise a navy. Now, the thing with raising a navy is that you literally have to do nothing different. So just basically recruit troops and just put them in the ocean. I'm sure that's how it works in real life. So you guys will act as our navy for now. I'm sure I'll make you guys bigger in the future, but I'm just going to put you out here in the Baltic Sea right off the coast of Poland so they know something's coming. Yeah, so good thing I did a lot of money into research because I keep getting these technology points and I definitely want to put more into means of getting more money so i'm gonna say income taxation nothing like raising the taxes guys right all right finally but right before oh ukraine oh you guys got this but right before we officially invade poland i want to put a few more troops on the border except i'm running out of money 
which means uh, if we want to make more money, we got to start this war. That's right, we are the United States. All right, so we border Poland on five provinces, which means I'm going to split 65 into five and uh, it's not school anymore. So I'm not doing the math for that, but it's like 13,000. All right, so now we have 13,000 troops in each province on the border of Poland. And I think you know what comes next. Yeah, that's right, war with Poland. So obviously I'm going to full send all my troops into Poland because there is really... Uh, no other strategy into this game other than just full sending your troops. Now they're going to attack first and uh, really do nothing because their troops are over here in the, in the east for some reason. That's weird. Maybe they're scared of Russia, but they probably should be scared of me because, you know, well, there's like 50,000 troops on your border. So it looks like Central Europe supports my decision and Italy does too, but France and the UK are still not too happy with me. So I'm going to try to send some diplomats to them. And the Navy, you can just chill and, you know, blow up any Polish warships that try to come over here. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Just keep full sending. All right, we are running out of troops down here in the south, though. And that is quite a bit of troops there in Warsaw. So let's try to, like, devise a plan here. So in order to form the Weimar Republic, we need to get a lot of these northern provinces and one more southern province. So let's focus on the north and just try to hold out in the south. So let's see, we'll send like half troops over here to this province. This is the last one we need. And then we'll focus these guys up north here. I could, I might actually, mm, I'm gonna split the Navy in half and then send the rest onto the land because we are like, this is a problem right here. Yeah, they are pushing back pretty hard right now. We might actually start to lose provinces. So I'm gonna focus these guys here, send the Navy down here. You guys are still holding out on this port right here. That's cool. Yeah, now we're probably gonna lose the South. That's not ideal. And oh wow, that is 20,000 troops. Oh boy. All right, so we're gonna conscript some more troops or not conscript. We're going to recruit some troops over here from Berlin in order to like not die meanwhile my army's up north you're gonna keep doing what you're doing you guys are just gonna hold a line right here you guys are probably screwed yep i didn't expect them to do that at all and there goes that oh boy all right so the poles are pushing back which is kind of ironic because you know i actually literally just did a video on poland i'm gonna put you guys back to you're gonna retreat back to here I want you to continue doing what you're doing okay that was actually a good move because they're gonna do that which means i'm gonna send these guys back yep checkmate brazil apparently loves me for doing this which is kind of cool all right so poland's counteroffensive kind of like didn't do anything i mean it did stuff it definitely killed off a lot of troops but like they have no troops like this is their only division right now i mean of course they can recruit more but this is their only division as we speak all right so the invasion of poland is going extremely well yeah they did raise up a few more troops but it's not going to be enough at this point we pretty much have everything we need minus a few provinces so i'm going to continue to invade in even though we technically don't need this land poland's got to be bankrupt by now right like they there's no way they have that much money so yeah the collapse of poland is happening their troops are minuscule and not going to be enough to stop me so i'm just going to keep pushing maybe we can get a few extra provinces so we don't have to invade poland again at this point i think we have everything we need now the thing is with this game is that you're going to have to get provinces and then a few more just to make sure you get what you actually like want so we'll invade a little bit in the north we'll take warsaw which should probably do it all right that's enough let's let's look at the peace deal here so for the weimar republic we need these lands plus this over here i might actually take this as well um just so we don't have to do that in the future also so we're like connected so give me all of this so these are the base provinces i need i think and then give me the corridor and then give me like let's take this all right so we'll go ahead and send our demands over they should accept yep and just like that we have almost everything we need for the weimar republic just some stuff from russia now which i'm a little bit worried about that not gonna lie because they just took out ukraine and georgia looks like they might even unite with belarus so that's fun i'm gonna go ahead and send a diplomat to china and a diplomat to russia and india as well if we can which we can I want to send more diplomats to France because they really don't like us for some reason. Same with Britain. And other than that, I'm good. Sweden really likes me, which I could probably offer them an alliance. Um, let's see. Yeah, I could. I don't really want an alliance with them, though. All right, I'm going to put some more technology into income taxation. And now I got to assimilate all these provinces. So basically, once you take an area, you got to assimilate it or else there's going to be rebellions and stuff, which we don't want that. That also takes a lot of the diplomacy points and we just got to bunch back from all these um meetings with the other countries all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and like put all of my troops up here near kaliningrad let's take a look at what else is happening in the world is there like any major wars happening i'm not seeing any interesting all right so um yeah i'm about to do this the one thing i'm hoping for is that poland doesn't give military access to russia because if that happens i'm screwed but for now let's go ahead and just declare war on russia and take kaliningrad okay that was not that bad now let's see if we can actually just peace deal them out of this will they accept nope 
wow they actually accepted that i didn't expect them to accept it but hey that was extremely easy and now we have kaliningrad so the last piece we need is actually just this province from uh, lithuania which i'm going to try to get it through an ultimatum which also means i'm going to recruit a few more troops just to kind of scare them into accepting so there we go that's quite a big army now we can send an ultimatum to them so let's demand this area and if we don't accept there's going to be 87,000 troops rolling through the country and they didn't accept it which means 87,000 troops are going to be rolling through their country except probably not actually i might invade them a little bit just to kind of push them around and you know punish them for not accepting my uh ultimatum and they uh, really they really hurt me so now i'm just gonna like say sorry i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna make you pay war reparations and just like that we have all the promises we need so let's go ahead and send our army back to berlin i'm gonna keep the navy out here actually i'm gonna send some of these troops out to be with the navy looking at relations france it's not going so well the uk it's getting better i'm gonna send another diplomat over there let's go ahead and uh assimilate some of these provinces put some more technology into military upkeep all right there we go so now with this we can go ahead and officially form the weimar republic which isn't the german empire just yet but we do change ideologies oh no we don't just kidding guys but uh, we change colors which this color is very hard to look at so instead i'm going to change it to like a darker kind of gray color it's easier to look at and also stands out from all the other countries also people typically just kind of associate germany with gray all right so now as you can see we could form the german empire which there's going to be a few more provinces in Poland and then Ostas Lorraine from France. Now, that's going to be a hard thing to do. And honestly, I might just go on to full scale war with France. I'm finding it very fascinating. There's actually no wars happening in the world. Like usually this game is pretty crazy with its wars, but like I'm not seeing it anywhere. Anyway, we do have a peace treaty with Poland for the next 18 turns, which means we can't invade them. So instead, let's go ahead and like raise our spending on some stuff. We'll raise some. Well, actually, we'll just do it on everything. We can also form this Germany, which... um. That might be for another video. Also, since this is technically like a different type of content, make sure you show support in this video because, um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then support is going to help it out. It lets me know that you want to see more. It doesn't have to always be the German Empire. Of course, we can do the French Empire, the British Empire, or we could just do war scenarios. It, really, there's no limit in this game. Also, we finally have our first war, which isn't like um, us. It's the Dominican Republic versus Honduras. Well, good news is there's zero casualties looks like lithuania just got done doing the war reparations which means we're gonna lose a little bit of money but we should be good for now so let's go ahead and send our troops over to the border of poland here looks like they're not even worried about us which is kind of concerning which you know they, they should be worried about us let's go ahead and raise some more troops now we are going to start losing a lot of money which means i might have to stop spending so much on goods and services i think seventy six thousand should be enough so let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 11 provinces that's like what six thousand ish per province my math was mostly right uh we do have an excess amount of troops here so i'm just gonna send half to berlin and as soon as these well actually it's just one turn which means we can now declare war on poland but first let's just try to send them an ultimatum just to be nice and you know maybe spare them so we really just need these five provinces and if you give us those we will leave you alone all right we're not gonna leave you alone it's very very uncommon for countries to give up their provinces i don't know why well, I can figure out why, because it doesn't make sense to actually do that. But, you know, in a life or death situation, you're probably going to want to listen to your invader. So, yeah, this is uh, this is what happens when you don't accept the ultimatum. So just like that, we have exactly what we need from Poland. But uh, I want to make them, you know, learn a lesson that actually that's kind of scary. Maybe we don't need to teach them a lesson. They're actually probably not even going to be able to afford that for a little bit. So let's just go ahead and keep going. Once your country gets so small, you literally like start going into the negatives in terms of money, which means they're not going to be able to uphold this for much longer or they you know they're just all gonna die that works too all right poland's last stand will they be able to do anything nope they don't even have troops so now just like that poland is germany so let's go ahead and do this peace deal real quick it should be pretty simple uh, we're gonna do all of that so that's all we need for the uh, german empire and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna vassalize them if i can yeah i'm gonna vassalize them and make them pay war reparations and that's all so let's go ahead and send this over they have to accept it because you know they don't exist anymore and just like that we have poland and we also have their vassalization which means they're basically our puppet state now if they get into a war technically i have to defend them but at the same time technically i don't have to have to defend them so let's go ahead and send our troops back to berlin i'm going to move the navy over to i guess this province also this is going to like serve as a buffer state between me and russia even though like i mean yeah, they hate us. Never mind. 
Also Belarus, because they really hate us for some reason. Slovenia and Montenegro are at war. This game has some really weird wars. They don't even border each other. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to send these troops who just got to Berlin down over to the border of France. And you guys can probably guess what's happening next. We're going to raise a huge army down here. That's going to meet up with our old army. I'm actually going to go ahead and dump all my technology points into military upkeep. I'm going to lower the production of goods and investments. And I'm also going to raise an army over here next to Belgium. Um, you'll see why here in a second. Let's see, the Netherlands are at war with Denmark and they want military access. I'm actually going to go ahead and give it to them because, yeah, I don't really like Denmark that much, but I like the Netherlands. Anyway, uh, France is now this is going to be a tough battle. They're at war with Morocco. Morocco doesn't like us. But if we go to war with France, Morocco will like us. Also, it's kind of, it's going to be a very difficult challenge. Looks like Spain is at war with Italy. I was going to ally with Spain, but that's not a good idea because I'm friendly with Italy. We can actually go ahead and get into an alliance with Italy, but that that would like kind of double cross us and I don't really want to do that. What the hell? What is this? Bro, what is, what is this peace treaty? That is horrendous. I hate everything about that. Oh God. Oh, Nebraska. Okay. Well, it looks like the wars are finally starting to pick up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, they definitely are. Where, what happened to Pakistan? German Empire, aka the Weimar Republic, is now at war with France. Now, all we need is Alsace-Lorraine, but I have a feeling that France won't just hand that over, so we're going to have to do a lot of invading. Also, don't know if we have enough troops for this, but we'll find out here in a second. Wow. Okay, yeah, we might be in trouble here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll send our troops in. I'm going to can't raise an army yet yeah they're coming that's a lot of french troops and now that that's happening let's go ahead and declare war on luxembourg and belgium uh we're gonna go through them because there's no french troops up here yet there really isn't even that many belgium troops which means that these guys should be able to do it but if not we might be in trouble oh that's not good how does belgium have that many troops that's insane all right well when uh it's you know crap hits the fan we gotta cut funding for literally everything oh why are they doing this to me that is so dumb i like this is the one thing i don't like about this game is how this happens all right so if all goes well this should actually like get us a lot of land i kind of cut off luxembourg everywhere they go and then france oh that might be a problem so wait what the f hold on now oh italy wh what is happening this is not right something's wrong okay anyway let's uh go back to our war we'll focus on ourselves see a luxembourg's gonna get wiped out here they might take a province that's fine uh th that was a lot of french that was a whole lot of french was not expecting that much french that's fine though we don't have oh well italy you gotta move bro bro so if i accidentally kill italian troops in french territory that automatically puts me into a war with italy and i don't really want that and my strategy right now actually kind of involves retreating from the south here we'll see oh i didn't expect them to do that well it didn't work for them so that's fine so those guys are going to go after belgium that's going to leave this province open which could be an issue let's go ahead and take back or i guess take this province I'm going to split these guys up. I'm going to send a majority of them up here to the northern province. And then this is an issue. This province right here is an issue. We just need more troops in certain areas, which is hard to do when we don't have any money. You know, we only have four dollars. So, yeah, they're going to take that, which is an might be an issue. Actually, I'm not sure. No, it's not an issue. This is an issue, though. That's a lot. I can't. Mm, can't defend against that also just want to say the whole invading through belgium thing definitely worked like that actually helped out a lot because now we're up here and there's like barely anything up here but our issue right now is that there's too many french to fight yep now this is going to be the hard part so we took all of belgium which is no oh, what the heck all right we didn't take all of belgium and now we're getting our butt kicked so let's um let's let's do uh let's let's peace out can we just have alsace lorraine we can't afford Alsace Lorraine. All right, we might be in trouble. In desperate times, we raise taxation to the extreme and we also retreat as much as possible. Okay, actually their strategy kind of sucked, which means we can push right back into these provinces with no problem. Uh, they are reinforcing the north though. And also we have some attrition issues. That's fine, that's fine. So they're gonna take, yeah, we are not doing too great. They have all of Belgium, which is kind of weird how they would focus on that, but not typically not actually an issue because we're not focused on belgium see the only thing we really did with belgium is use them but i am going to go ahead and like put some troops up here just in case they break through yeah that's an issue there's a lot of french troops in an area that i don't want there to be french troops in but if we could do this right we can actually just take paris real quick is it that easy yeah, it really was that easy huh all right so with that it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to crumble but it 
does mean that they're gonna lose a lot of morale. And at this point, we might be able to get a peaceful house house of rain. Nope, we are not. All right, well, we've been encircled in Paris, which is not an ideal situation. And I'm gonna go ahead and like, tune down the taxes before you really know people get a little too angry also we can do a peace deal with, Lu with luxembourg which i'm actually just gonna go ahead and just take them doesn't really mean anything in the french war but you know one less little icon at the top i guess okay so we have all of belgium can we also get just do a peace deal with belgium real quick we can i'm actually going to i'm gonna do i want to take them all i guess i'm gonna take a little bit i'm going to vassalize them and get war reparations going that way it serves as a buffer state and we don't have to worry about that unless france just invades them which they very well could just do but yeah okay cool so they did accept that which means france can't invade them and that's gonna help us out a lot because we have one less front to worry about and also we can use it to our advantage and invade france from belgium without france invading belgium itself also i'm kind of curious if we have enough for us Lorraine. come on just please we do okay now i could just end this here and i might but let's take a look at the casualties and see if it's worth it see we have 178,000 german casualties i don't know if that's worth it now, i'm not saying there should be more casualties but i'm saying that there should be more french suffering all right my interior divisions just got obliterated by france so let's go ahead and like call this piece still real quick i'll take alsace lorraine and i can't get war operations so instead i'm going to i guess i'm gonna steal their colonies i'm gonna take french polynesia and french guiana and i'm gonna make them pay war operations to me it cost us 193,000 germans but also 201,000 french so that's i guess that's a fair trade-off but this war should be over and it is so just like that we got alsace lorraine we also got french guiana no we didn't get french guiana. oh no no that's not what i didn't do i made them give up french guiana and uh the other one so i took french polynesia and then i freed french guiana interesting i thought i was taking both colonies but apparently i only took one but anyway uh that was a very beneficial war you know a lot of people died however we got alsace lorraine back and we got belgium as a vassal and now we can officially form the german empire so boom just like that the german empire is back and technically we could go even further and form the german confederation but looking at time here that is all the time we have for this video so if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new if you want to see more age of history content and let me know in the comments i had a lot of fun actually making this video probably because it's a game and not me drawing lines on the map but it's still similar so yeah if you want to see more let me know in the comments and once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on wednesday that's right this was a monday upload and uh, a lot of you guys didn't see the, the summer schedule video, so go look at that for like context as to why there's a video today. Shame on you for not watching it if you didn't. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later. And of course, thank you to all the super fans. This includes Patrick Clauser, Yo Moma Moma, Texan Cowboy Cheese, Kylie Speaks Plays, Poland Country Ball, Dimitri, DW Cool Dude, Nevada Garbage Trucks, Yakko, Soviet Ball, and Serminator. Once again, thank you guys.